Hello future doctors, how are you all doing? I hope everyone is excited to get into their much awaited, much desired dream medical college. So, you might be aware that MCC has released a matrix where you'll be getting the information about the UG seats available for round 2 counselling. But I've been getting a lot of questions that what about MBBS seats, what about BDS and nursing seats because this matrix that has been released by MCC is no less than a maze. It's very confusing and we cannot get an exact idea about it, right? So don't worry because I've got this session for you where you'll be getting to know the number of available seats in MBBS and also the impact of it on the cutoff. Now students will also have this need to compare it to the available seats from the last year. So don't worry, we'll be doing it in this session only. Also, like let me tell you that we have been preparing a lot, right? We have been putting in numerous hours in studying and solving question papers in solving sample papers, getting into the examination center and then the journey goes on up till result. But did you get your medical college yet? Of course not, right? Because that was the preparatory phase. Now comes the counselling phase where you'll be actually getting your dream college. And here you have to decide, you have to put in effort to get the best you can. And for that, you need to be aware about all the details. Okay? So I have to tell you guys that you have to be aware about today. You have to do hard work. You have to do smart work. You should know what you should know today. You should do what you got to do today just to shape and mold your tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow is not written. You have to shape it yourself. You have to mold it. You have to make it better. And your tomorrow will only be determined if you are working harder, working smarter today. Okay? So do hard work, guys. Prepare yourself, get yourself updated and get into your dream medical college. Now, let me tell you, have you taken a look at the MCC website? It has actually released three PDFs, okay? And these PDFs are about different vacancies, but what are these? Let's talk about them. So we have got three vacancies. The first one is a clear vacancy. The second is the virtual vacancy and the third is the newly added vacancy, okay? Now, the first clear vacancy, what do we mean by them? What is the difference between all of these? So first, let's talk about the clear vacancies. See, in clear vacancies, in round one, all the colleges have taken up the students, taken up the admissions, but then there were some seats that were not admitted in. That means that in the round one, there was seat available, but the student got free exit or resigned from these seats, right? So these seats are directly available to you in the round two counseling. But then what do we understand by virtual vacancies? So these virtual vacancies means that here, these seats are already occupied by a person, by a student, but he wishes for upgradation. He wishes or she wishes for upgradation. And these seats will only be available to you if the student leaves this seat and switches to another seat. Okay, so these seats are virtual. Why? Because they are not in existence as of yet. But if the students upgrade itself or get into another seat, then these seats will be available to you. Then we have got the newly added vacancies. Now these are of three types. The newly added vacancies. That means, see, there were some colleges that did not take part in round one. But now they are taking part in the round two. Okay, so these seats will be available to you directly. Then there were some new colleges. Okay, there were some new colleges. So these seats will also be available for you. Then let's see that there was a college that was offering 100 seats before. Now it has increased the number of seat intake. It has increased the number of seat intake. So what will happen? From 100, suppose there are 150. So 50 seats has been increased and these seats will be available to you in the round two counseling. Okay. So all are these different kinds of seats. And if you take a look at the matrix, you will not be able to have a direct idea and you have to put in a lot of work to it. Okay. So don't worry. I have simplified for you and I've got this simplified table for you. 
Now let's see how I've made this table. So here you will see category wise, you will get an exact idea of the seats. Now don't get confused. These are not just the clear seats. Okay. So here you will see that this is the data for the clear seats as well as for the newly added seats that are directly available to you. And just to give you an idea, we have the virtual seats here. Okay. So we have got the virtual seats as well, but that is just an idea. We have got the detailed college wise category wise information for the clear seats and the newly added seats. Okay. Let's start talking about it. So as we have been seeing and we have been looking at the trends, we have noticed that in the all India category itself in the all India quota, we have seen an increase in the number of clear seats. Okay, now this has been a general trend for all the different kinds of colleges generally, but except a few, we'll talk about it. Okay, so here you will see from the last year, you can see that there were about 2000 seats and now for general category, it's 2287. Then you will look at the EWS seats, it's 568, for, EW, for OBC, it's 1635, for SC, it's 789 and for ST, it is 350. All right. Now, this has been the trend for all of the colleges. Like, for example, if you talk about AMU, so you will see the number of clear seats has been increased for B BHU as well. Okay. For JIPMAR as well, JIPMAR for general, you will be getting 13 admissions in it. But the most desired college, what's the number one college you dream of? The most general idea and the most choice, the most chosen one would be AIMS and it would be AIMS Delhi right now let's see so for general category in the entire aim so we have 151 seats but this does not follow the trend of course it's the most prestigious college it does not follow the trend you will see that the number of clear seats has been decreased here and the number of virtual seats are increased now why is it so so let's see that these number of clear seats has been increased because now, the topmost is AIMS Delhi, but there are new AIMS opening every year, okay? Now, for example, there is AIMS, Ripe, uh, AIMS Nagpur, AIMS Batinda, AIMS Vidisha. And people have not been taking in admissions in these AIMS because they had better choices. But now you will see that the, the cutoff for these colleges also goes very high. And the student have decided, we have seen a trend that the students takes admission in these colleges and then applies for upgradation. So you will notice that the number of virtual seats goes high and the number of clear seats goes down, right? So that means these seats will only be available to you if the student chooses another college, if he leaves this seat, okay? So number of seats, this is a little sad because this was our first choice. This was our dream college, right? But again, don't worry, we have much other colleges as well, okay? So here, let's see that in AIMS only, it is degrading the number of clear seats. Same goes for ESIC quota as well. You will see the number of clear seats are less and the number of virtual seats are more. Again, why? Because students take in the admission and then apply for upgradation. Same goes within DU and IP. You will notice here that here, the number of clear seats are equivalent or slightly higher from the last years okay so they have no such uh, up and down here they are slightly higher or almost equal but then let's talk about the deemed universities the private universities you will see that there are 2556 general seats available and 740s for nris if we talk about the total category wise government seats for general it is 2479 seats can you see that these are almost equal? It's a good thing for us, right? The private and government seats are almost equal. They are almost equivalent. So from the total all India quota only, you will have 5,000 seats available. Okay. Now, if you take a look here, so you have got 8,579, both virtual as well as clear and newly added seats. Okay. So can you look at a trend here that almost clear seats are high and virtual seats are less but except Delhi, AIMS and ESIC quota. Okay, so for all the AIMS and ESIC quota, you will see a opposite trend that the number of virtual seats are more. Okay, now 
what would be the impact of these available seats on the cutoff so let me tell you that of course the cutoff will go higher for the much prestigious colleges right but if we talk about the general trend so for general colleges from generally okay in the round two counseling you will see that the cutoff will go down okay now let's compare the seats available this year to the last year so as i've already mentioned you will notice here that this was the number of seat available clear seats available in 2022 and these are the number of seats available in 2023 clear seats we are talking about okay so can you see that this has almost an increase of 558 let's take it 600 approximately and what about virtual seats so of course virtual seats has also been increased the amount equivalently is 200 so there are 800 seats increased from the last year and this 800 is a huge number because you only need one seat to get admission in right so these seats are available for you grab the opportunity and get the best medical college for you but we have already talked about aims right that in aims you will see an opposite trend here you will see that the number of clear seats are going down and the number of virtual seats are slightly higher if no new aims open this year then again you will see that the number of clear seats will again go down because this happens this is a trend that as the college become old the number of clear seats becomes less and the virtual seats becomes more because the students will take admission in it okay now so as you can see from the trend you will notice that there are 800 seats available for you and you this is your chance get into your medical college and become the proud proud doctor okay so with this all the very best and i shall see you when you become doctors okay so thank you all for joining this session this is me your bio buddy nikita signing off and i hope that you guys have got all the information now still if you have any doubt do write in the chat box or in the comment box below and of course do like share and subscribe okay so bye bye you guys take care of yourselves and get your medical college